Today I wanted to take a look at the you can't get there from here error message. This frequently comes up with conditional access policies and extra security measures that the browser handshake and authentication use. Uh, most often you'll see this with Chrome and Firefox and kind of the non-standard IE browser. When you're on the Windows OS using the IE browser, there's a lot of authentication that Microsoft handles to connect to Office 365. All happens in the background and that conditional access policy works very well in IE and the conditional access policy works very well in IE in most cases. There are times when you're going to want to use another browser, Firefox or Chrome. I, I love Chrome for debugging. The JavaScript features in F12 are, are second to none. So if you're you know, debugging a JavaScript application with IE, it's going to slow you down a lot. But how can we switch over to use Chrome or Firefox or one of these better browsers when we can't even log in? Sort of a challenge. There's some good news. What we can do is copy the cookies. So if you have a valid IE session, you can watch the network traffic with F12 copy over two cookies into your other browser and then you're authenticated and ready to go. So what you need first is a valid IE session where you're browsing SharePoint and then you need the ability to modify cookies on Firefox or Chrome. Firefox has a plugin called Cookie Quick Manager and Chrome has one called Edit This Cookie. I'll put links in the notes on the blog post. Once you have that plugin loaded you can now manually add cookies and that is the trick to getting things to work. So let's take a look. Over here in IE, we have a valid session, and in Firefox, we have you can't get here from there. So on the valid session, what we're going to do is open up slash API slash web. That is a hook to the JSON format, just to kind of get a raw data feed. We'll record the network, reload that page, and the reason I love using API web is it's very simple in the network traffic. When you go to inspect the, the headers and, and kind of how things are, are rendering, what you're going to find is that the, the request headers are very simple and that we don't have a lot of extra parameters. When we inspect the cookies for a valid response, we're going to see two of them. One called Fed Auth, capital F, capital A, and another called RTFA, where the F is capital. We are going to want to copy these cookies and then add them to our other browser. So with IE, you can click the Cookies tab, right-click on a line item and do Copy, right-click on RTFA and do Copy. I put both of those over here into Notepad so that we can see the name of the cookie as well as the value. Fed Auth is a little bit longer, and that's uh, intentional. But now that we have the two cookies, we can go over to Firefox and add them. So from the Firefox session, we can click on the Cookie toolbar where we have the Cookie Quick Manager. We can do Manage All Cookies, click on Subdomains, find the name of our tenant with SharePoint.com, and here we can go ahead and make changes. Now to add new cookies, you first locate an existing one and do the pencil icon for editing. Give a new name such as Fed Auth, and then we will paste in the value. And you want to double check your expiration date is somewhere in the future. We can go ahead and turn off these checkboxes and save the current cookie. Now if we click a random cookie again, we can do the ensure protection edit. We'll turn the name text box away from gray, where we can take RTFA, copy paste, clear the value, go ahead and copy the value of the cookie, paste that in as well, clear checkboxes, and save a second cookie. Now we have both the Fed Auth and the RTFA cookies in our Cookie Quick Manager. We're good to go. By closing the Cookie Quick Manager, we can now open a URL and give it a test. We see things load perfectly. We're now authenticated in a browser that was a moment ago giving us the you can't get here from there. And the way we're able to do it is by adding a cookie plugin to the toolbar and then go ahead and set both the Fed Auth and the RTFA cookies. You'll see these under SharePoint.com, RTFA, and Fed Auth. Those are the two cookies you're going to need. This will work on Firefox, it will work on Chrome, it will work on Fiddler, it will work on REST Postman. Anything that can create HTTP traffic, if you give it these two cookies, you're now successfully logged in. So piggyback on IE to give you the cookies, import them to the browser that you really want, and you can go forward with the work you need to do. 
This is great for JavaScript debugging, any front-end applications on things like Angular, React, Knockout, Backbone. You want to get into the Chrome developer tools, but you're seeing you can't get here from there. This is the solution. Add two cookies and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.